Hello beautiful people and welcome back to NBA 2K22 my player career and as you can see we are here in our apartment and there's only one thing to do today and that is to go right into the tournament with none other than the Oklahoma Sooners. That's the team that we decided to choose mostly based on the attributes but now that we're a Sooner you know Trey Young was a Sooner I'm sure there's other ones hopefully we can follow in the footsteps of None other than Trey Young himself. But without any further ado, it's time to get that tournament started. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Mamba mentality. Oh, there we go. Play game. I completely missed it. So it's it looks like we're starting off here against the Villanova Wildcats. It's going to be a tough game. This is a very, very elite training academy. But training academy, what I'm talking about. College team. They are very good, Villanova. But... Can we beat them today? So the big problem with this game is how good the defense is. We're going to have one of the best perimeter defenders in the NCAA tournament on us tonight. And uh, hopefully we can break his legs. Hopefully we, we don't actually break his legs, but break his ankles maybe and uh, get some points at the perimeter. We're going to need to shoot to spread out the scoring. And uh, hey, maybe we'll even finish a few at the rim. Welcome everybody. The path to the national Oh man, it feels good to be back, baby. Now. Our first game Hunt, of this beautiful partners, season, Craig of this beautiful series Kellogg. on the channel. This I'm so excited to be playing 2K, 2K again and, uh, and tonight we've got the back so soon. We're also going to be having FIFA soon Oklahoma on the channel, Sooners. so look forward to that as well in terms of sports. And without any further ado, baby, it's time to get on. He starts his quest to deliver Oklahoma okay. its first Let me get that pick. national championship. And Clark, let's have your thoughts on Villanova. It's all about defense. Okay. Tried defense, to start off with an assist defense, there. It's okay. Defense. Tough to get past this guy. Call for another pick and roll. They set the pick. Pulls up to there the we go, the baby. Count Two points. Bucket. And actually, I think I'm going to switch up our camera if possible. In the field. Now here's Malvin. Uh-oh. And that one good for All two. right, Malvin did break Boy, us down a little bit there. 2-2. Two, two. That's but impressive. that's okay. We'll like progress from here. We'll progress from here. Two. All right, let's call a high pick and roll. Now MP. For three. Oh, and we turn over already. God damn it. Oh, no. And he finishes nicely on the layup. All right, Malvin played us there like a fiddle. All right, let's call for the pick and roll. Let's get Gregor off us. To the oh come on! Blackman defending. Here's the break. Don't let him score. Come. Finished off the break. Nice job that time. Oh god, it is not going well. <laughs> right side. To the run. Oh! <laughs> we hit that three, and we get the point for the chance for a four-point play. The first of our career. There we go, baby. All right, give me another pick. Yes! That's what I like to see. All right, fast break. There were questions about how serious he is about high-level basketball. Well, a Can we get an assist? Yes, baby. All right, 13-11. Let's get it. We should be playing on Hall of Fame difficulty, so this is not going to be a run a walk in the park, baby. This is this is going to be tough. MP left side. Another assist. Underwood, gets it to go. Underwood is a tall man. Got to hit him as, as many times as we can on the pick and roll. You know, if, if we get blocked up, if we get stopped up, pass it to our man Underwood. All right, this is a chance for us to get back in this game. Lane's open. Another assist. We'll take it. There we go. Excellent timing, and we've tied the game. 12 points. And out of bounds, the wild out of bounds. Through. What? And it's is all about all right, Gregor Malvin stepping up on us. And, and what they've got going right there now we go. Is not getting it Just need that room. Tie game. All right, we're down by three back. in the first, the first half. half it's not terrible. We have 15 points, which is great, here. but uh, maybe top. we maybe we would do a little bit better without all those turnovers that we had so far. Honestly, I'm not and worried about it yet. We'll get into the next uh, into the next the half and see what we can do. Come on! No, we're stuck. 
Yeah, where's the defense? You know, no time waste to getting that ball up. Where's the defense? All right, pick and roll. There we go. Another assist. There is no room for error right now. Inside. Here's Hall. Oh! What a pass and what an assist by Hall. One point game. No. What am I supposed to do about that, man? If my if my team doesn't lock up on the threes, of course they're gonna knock them down. There we go. Okay, three point game. Alright, they took us out and they put us back in and we're down by ten. God damn it, what am I supposed to do about that? Oh and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. There we go. Yes. That falls. Alright, seven point game. Gregor Malvin hasn't even locked us down. Our team's... Oh, God. We're having the same issue that we had last year, where our team just sucks, bro. What? We're down by 20, bro. Looking to... They're just gonna run the clock out. Oh God, what do I, s what do we say, man? What do I say? I I don't got much to say except for the fact that it is 100% not our fault that we lose that we lose this game. We played pretty good defense. We played pretty well offensively, and I was hoping for a more competitive game, but hey, these blowouts happen sometimes. Boy, we go out of the game and our team goes down by 10. If they hadn't done that, we would have been able to do something, man. To the promised land. All right. Well, we start off with a loss in a single game knockout tournament. It's terrible stuff, man. It's terrible, terrible stuff. All right, man. Lay it on me. What's the damage? Uh, let's talk to Ricky. Jesus Christ. How you doing, bro? I mean, I know you kind of been going through it ever since you flamed out spectacularly in that tournament. You auditioning for Top Tech Daily? You need to come more provocative than that, homie. All right. Well, how about you are a disgrace to basketball. You care more about your YouTube career than you'll ever care about hooping, and you're ugly. First of all, I'm not ugly, and just because you call yourself pretty don't mean it's true, homie. You're right. My face makes it true. Oh, okay. Nah, for real. Come on. You got to just admit this. You're the athlete. And I am the brains, heart, soul, and face of this entire operation. I mean, the facts is just the facts. Bro, stay <laughs> modest. <laughs> For real, man. How you feeling? I mean, I know you don't really like to talk after you lose. I'm pissed, bro. You know, obviously, I, I didn't expect stuff to end like this, man. You know, I still got a, I got a lot of ball left in me. I'm about to sit up here and cry about it. It's whatever. That's the only way to live life, bro. Yeah, facts. Hey, look, since we're on the topic... You've been thinking at all about next steps? I mean, you know I always got ideas, but I just... I want to know where your head's at right now. <sighs> okay, how about Chris Brickley? Look, I've been thinking hard about training with him. I mean, your draft stock is kind of on the edge right now. You could go in the second round, or you could go undrafted. But a strong show and training with Brick. A couple of open runs with them NBA dudes, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that could mean a lot to the right GM. So basically, I ain't got nothing to lose. That's what you're saying. I mean, yeah, that's basically the vibe. Okay. I mean, look, you can help yourself a lot, and I think that far outweighs the risk. I mean, you're already pretty under the radar right now, so it's either going to do nothing, or it's going to give you a huge boost. But either way, I think it's worth a shot. All right, sounds good to me, man. Let's do it. I'm thinking about the draft. Word. Okay, and you do not sound excited about that. No, nah, I mean, I am. I mean, we're, we're right there, bro. We're close. But look, from what I'm hearing, you might go undrafted. And that's really not the position you want to that be in. That is not I mean, a position we want to be in. You picked up by somebody that really don't want to focus on you just because they got an extra 50-second pick to give away. So you saying I shouldn't declare? No, 
But I just want you to know what the deal is. And I want you to know that you have options. Like, you can always do the G League thing, focus on street ball. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can go about this, but just be aware that getting drafted ain't always the best thing for someone in your position. I mean, sometimes it could be more of a curse than a blessing. Word. God, I can't. I still can't believe we went out in the first round there. Uh. So what about the G League? I think it's a solid option, to be honest. But you think I should skip the draft, though? I don't know. I mean, it's tough, man, because the position you're in right now, you could go to someone that just wants to use you as a trade ship or unexpectedly ends up with a second late in the night, and they're just like, let me take the shop because maybe he could sell some merch. So I can, I, can, I can wind up in a bad situation, yeah. Yeah, you could. Or it could be great. I mean, look at Emmanuel quickly. Everybody thought he was going second, got drafted by the Knicks in the first, and he just took off. Yeah, but I'm not getting drafted in the first round, bro. Yeah, probably not. Look, and this is why I want to go to the G League. I think that'll be the best situation for me. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you prove yourself there, you can get scooped up by a team at any time. Yeah, you're still a young prospect, too, so that's a lot of untapped upside there. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, I feel like I got a lot to think about, man. We do yeah, have a lot to think about. We should but probably do that Chris Brickley workout, you. if anything. Feel like you got to make this decision on your own. Yo, for sure. I appreciate you, bro. When you're ready to make moves, let me know. Hey. God damn. So we failed epically and massively. I, I still can't believe that. But without any further ado, I feel like we should go in and uh, try and get this Chris Brickley workout done. Hopefully we're able to do well, man. I don't. I just don't know. All right. Time to hop on our board and make our way over to Chris Brickley. An influencer just like us in many ways. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to raise our draft stock a little bit. But I don't know. Do we even want to? Uh, well, either way, I feel like it's probably a good idea to just just try this out and see what Ricky has to say after we complete it. All right, Brickley. Where's he at? There he is. All right, we we need we need your help and we need yeah, it bad. What's up, bro? What's up, man? How you doing, Chris? I've been a fan of yours for a while. I like your YouTube channel. It's dope. Hey, I appreciate hey, that. Thanks, Everybody man. telling me how great your workouts are, man. Word gets around, huh? Yes, sir. So what we got going on today? We got some big names coming through the next few weeks. So there's going to be a lot of eyes on us, social and all that. Cool. So you play well, we can help you draft stock. Hey, look, that sounds good to me. And hopefully you'll learn a thing or two. So we're here to get better, right? Exactly. All right, what's the plan? We're running threes. We got some other young guys. Your class. You should fit right in. <sighs> Bet. You need a warm-up or anything? No, I'm good, man. Follow me. All right, showcase your game. Showcase your skills in a three-on-three -three game to 21. All right, sounds good to me. Let's get it done. Give me that pick. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Get that rebound. All right, let's take it up the other side of the court. Give me that pick and roll. Beautiful. Another three. Let's get it. All right, let's get, uh, let's get another pick and roll going. All right, we'll take an assist any day of the week. We do need to win this game, man. We have absolutely no choice. Uh-oh. Beautiful. Grab the rebound there. Give me the pick and roll. Get another assist. Lovely. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Another assist. We'll take it. Oh, God. Dude, our handles are so bad. There we go. Another open shot. Up by eight. One more three. Or two more twos, and we're good. Perfect. All right, that's game. Woo. Extender perk. Wow, we got so many badge points right there. We're going to be close to getting our next badge soon. Got some 2,500 MVP points and plus 5 in the draft stock, which is always nice. All right, shall we talk to Brickley, see what he's up to? Or is that it? Oh, here's Brickley. All right. So can we talk to him anymore, or is it over? Is that it? I think that's it. All right, so, you know, we slightly increased our draft stock, but... 
still not great. You know, we might we might just need to go into the G League. I'm not exactly sure, but this is where we're going to end off this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, I enjoyed playing the game, but I obviously didn't enjoy getting knocked out in the first round of the tournament. I'm sorry, you guys. I really did try my best for you all, but uh, sometimes, you, sometimes you can't always get what you want. So uh, without any further ado, I'll see you in that outro. All right, so sadly, as you guys saw, we got knocked out in the first round. It's okay. We'll uh, we'll snap. We'll bounce back from this. No problem whatsoever. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys are excited that we're back on the 2K22 train. And uh, without any further ado, I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day, morning, night, whatever time it might be where you are. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, peace.